How much is uh, this guy? Uh, would you give me seven bucks for it? Seven? Guys, welcome back. Today, Ashley and I are headed out to the St. Augustine Flea Market. It's actually the last day that it's open, so we thought we'd make it a little challenge, see yeah. if we can't find some golf clubs and then go and play a few holes, see if we can't shoot even par or better. What are we playing for today? We usually play for weird food things. Yeah, but. I want to try the Taco Bell grilled cheese burrito out. Also, oh, I yeah. think they have a new uh, flavor of the freezes. We really like the pineapple. I don't yeah, the pineapple whip one was really good. So yeah. what uh, are we playing alternate shot or what are we playing today? Uh, I think I'm just going to putt. I'm going to save my neck because we have a big trip coming up. So. Yeah, we got a pretty big uh, golf trip coming up, so I don't want Ashley to hurt her neck. But uh, I'll strap on the GoPro and then we'll meet you at the flea market and see what we can find. Look at that powerbuilt bag. Yeah, old school powerbuilt oh, bag. Bridgestone, Bridgestone one's cool. Man, they've got some awesome bags. The Yes Putter bag. I didn't know that they had a uh, golf specific store here. Usually, but it's find random clubs. Mm -hmm. Some old Adams hybrids. Callaway X Series, Callaway Hawkeye, original Ping Eyes, Titleist 804s. Here we go, scratch wedge. Multi compound grip. You really like that edge though, it's easier to hit off the ground. Yeah, the sole relief right here, it's really easy to uh, open up the wedge. I think a lot of these you can get custom ground too. I'm not even sure if Scratch is still in business, but they were really popular online for a while. How much is uh, this guy? Uh, would you give me seven bucks for it? Seven? Yep, I can do that. Uh, if you hit it really good, then you gotta come back and pay me a little bit more. <laughs> okay. That's gotta be the deal. Today's the last day that uh, this is open, right? Yeah. Are you moving I elsewhere? Mean, I only live right down the road. This was always real nice. I've yeah. been here on and off for a long time. You moving elsewhere? I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go to Ramona Avenue in Jacksonville. It's on the west side, I-10. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So I think I'm going to go over there and try that. Redneck bird feeder. <laughs> Plunger. Oh, look at this old Wilson staff head cover. That is so cool. I just want this head cover. Oh, that is cool. I don't think any of our Wilson drivers would fit in that, but that's pretty cool. Don't want to break up the set. Whoa. Now that is a proper amount of Thousand Island. <laughs> this must have come from an old salad bar. Yeah. That's really cool. We got one lone golf club back here, Ash. I do have a spiky sense for a golf club. Oh, it's a Payne Stewart. NFL autograph. What? Huh. I've never seen that before. That's cool. We'll uh, flash up a picture of us at the uh, Payne Stewart statue at Pinehurst. Mm -hmm. That's cool. See how much they want for that. Mm -hmm. NFL autograph. I haven't seen that. Oh, it's a full yeah, set of the the uh, Payne Stewart's. Oh, the good thing we looked over. Oh, this is remember the uh, Tour Edge Bazooka. Oh, no. We did the, that was the cheapest driver we could find at Academy Sports. We did a review of that. That was pretty fun. We'll see how much she wants for it. Oh, really? Yeah, I can eat it. Oh, you, oh, you mean the whole bag? Yeah, um, how about 10 bucks for the whole bag? My mom gave me the bag. Okay, sure. We'll okay. do that. Thank you. Yep. You're a part of the thing, right? Yeah. Want a one iron? They're all $3 each, uh, two for five. Okay. Clubs, yeah. And one iron, you don't see that often. Yeah, no. I tried them and. Coffee? My ball's low enough. I gotta have a ten and a half degree dryer just to get it. Me too. Without killing yeah. microbes going along the way. You all set? Yep. <laughs> okay, thank you. Then stay safe. You too. Thank you. All right, guys, we made it out to the course. That was kind of fun going to the last day of that flea market. Kind of sad too, but yeah. a lot, we talked to a lot of the vendors, and they're gonna move on to uh, different flea markets. But we did end up getting these clubs. This lady wanted to give us them for free, but. I think we, what did we get up for? 10 bucks or something like that? Yeah. And then we ended up finding the uh, Tommy Armor one iron. And then this is, uh, we didn't get a putter, but this is the putter from the last video that you can enter to win if you go and watch that video. All you had to do was like, subscribe, and then a specific comment. So be sure to check that video out. But first hole here is a par three, 162 yards. It's a very tiny green, so it's gonna be pretty challenging, but I think I'm gonna go with a lawnmower. Uh, I'll probably go with the, uh, the Wilson Payne Stewart one, so I'll go with the seven iron, if you could still hear me. Yep. That ended up being the perfect club. Got about 20 feet. Let's see if Ashley can't start us off with a birdie here. Looks good. 
Oh, can't complain with the tap in for par on the first hole. No. <laughs> All right, next hole is a drivable par four, and I think I'm gonna go with the uh, Tour Edge Bazooka. Nice. Finally escaped the lawnmower noise, sorry about that, but this hole was 260 yards, and we carried the water pin high right here. The Tour Edge 460 Black, we've done a review of that in the uh, past, it was the cheapest driver at Academy. We'll leave a link in the description below, but you can find those on eBay for like 30 bucks, so definitely a good deal. So uh, yeah, the best club is coming up next, the best find of the day in my opinion, the Scratch Wedge. Let's see if we can't put it close for Ashley to make a birdie. Oh. World's greatest putter. All right, next hole is a par four, 350 yards. I'll probably go with that uh, driver again. I hit it pretty good last time. Hit that drive right down the middle of the fairway, had 100 yards left exactly, and I smoked a little nine iron over the green. I probably should have gone with the scratch wedge once again, but I wanted to try one of the irons in there. We got a tricky little chip right here. I think the uh, tree's gonna have something to say about my backswing. What do you think, should I just bank it off the tree? Ooh, go for it. Nah, I think I could choke down enough where it doesn't matter. It's like a junior putter. <laughs> go, go down the hill. Oh, stopped right on top yeah. of the hill. That was that's still fun to watch. That's a tricky putt. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Oh, I thought that was dead center. That was a good putt. Yeah. Greens are a little shaggy here. It's rained a lot lately, so they haven't been able to cut them. But that's a buggy. We're back to even par. We got the hardest hole coming up. I think this is uh, 320 yards, and then there's like an island green almost. So. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, sit. Sit. All right, I got nervous John's ball was in the water, but he's actually just to the left of it. He's about 60 yards out. What are you going with? Going with the scratch wedge. And uh, hopefully I just don't dunk this one in the water. Yeah, but hopefully. We'll see. Pretty sure that scratch wedge is going right in the bag. I've read a bunch of reviews of them online, but never actually tried one. And they are as good as people say they are online. It's in perfect condition too. They're kind of older, but let's see if Ashley can't uh, get us another birdie here. There's the hole, only about 15 feet. Go. All right, we got to par the last hole or make a birdie. I'm gonna go with that uh, Tommy Armour one iron. The hole's about 300 yards, I think. Been waiting to hit that one iron because I didn't want to uh, tweak my neck. No. Ashley's been doing a lot better, but we didn't want to push it today with these clubs. With so. a one iron, especially not. <laughs> yeah, these are a bunch of old blades. So uh, let's see if we can't uh, finish with the par here. That thing was right at it, but I couldn't see it land. There's a little bit of a swale right there. I think we've got about, what do you say, 15 feet? Gave it a run. <laughs> All right, tap that in, and we'll go get us a burrito. Boom, burrito time. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as Ashley is about to enjoy this grilled cheese burrito. That's really good. Yeah, it's got cheese on the outside. That's on purpose. Ooh, and like Frito strips in it. Oh man, I let me get a bite of that. <laughs> That's good. Oh, that might be a new favorite. Oh, man. <laughs> That's really good. There's 700 calories in that, and I can see why, though. Yeah. It, it's worth it. That's why it tastes delicious. Yeah. We'll split that one. Yeah. And the uh, dragon fruit thing, they got rid of the pineapple whip thing that we really liked. Oh, I didn't know that. I just thought they got a new one. That's not as good as the pineapple, but that's still very good. Yeah, it's pretty good. But hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Also, our next video, we already filmed the thrifting uh, part of it. And we found amazing clothes. Yes. It was probably our best day ever. <laughs> we found like crazy yeah. stuff. So stay tuned for that. But we'll see you next time. <laughs> I stole your line. Sorry. See you next time. <laughs>